guys, like, welcome back to my channel. I totally thought I'd do a video for you today because so many of you look up to me as a mum vlogger and as a wonderful housewife and I thought I might inspire you all by like giving you five, five of my favourite hacks for making my life and hopefully your life like so much easier. Okay, so these ones are ones that I have honed over like the 27 years that I've like been a mom. I've like been a housewife for almost all of that as well and I've just like, it's been so hard but I've like learned so much on how to make my life like so much easier with or without the kiddos around. So, like, here we go. This is my favorite hack. I love it so much. Hack number one. When you've spent all day, like, tidying your house, not with a housekeeper, and it's looking so perfect and so wonderful, and you just sit down with that nice hot cup of tea, and like maybe a, a, a good book to read or just a nice biscuit and just you want to decompose and you look around and like oh yeah it just feels so good but like how do you keep it that way it's taken me years to work this out so like this is what I do Hack number two. Oh, if you're like me and you've been married to the man of your dreams for oh, so long, you've been together for years and years and you feel like maybe there's more you can do to keep the romance alive and like, oh, how do you do that? I was thinking about it and I realised, oh, Date nights! You can find something interesting to do. You don't have to like Netflix and chill. Oh no, that's for the boomers. No, you want to do something like totally different. Body painting. Yes, that's what I said. Body painting. It doesn't matter if you paint your body, their body, Paint yourselves and do it on a canvas. It's just something weird and fun and out there that you can both do together. And it brings you happiness. <laughs> Hack number three. So, do you find that your children are constantly wanting to snack, wanting you to get off your phone or off your computer or come in from tanning out in the sun and get them something to eat all the time. How are you supposed to maintain this healthy glow if you're constantly coming inside? So. I've got a hack for you that will make your life so much easier and teach your children independence from a young age. What I do is I take items and I put them into little Ziploc bags and into a basket on the bench that they know that they can access at any time. And if they eat enough of it, I don't even have to cook them dinner. So. Always make sure that you have easily accessible snacks for your children so that they can help themselves. But make sure, remember, not just the fun stuff, 
make sure there's healthy things in there too. Fruits such as raisins. And they'll always remember to be healthy too. Now, if you're popping out for a few hours, this hat can also convert too. Just pop a few of these snacks into a Ziploc bag, pop it into your purse, and there you go. No more, Mum, I'm hungry. Mum, I want to go to McDonald's. Just throw them in a Ziploc bag and they can snack away to their heart's content. So, if you're going away for the whole day or you're going on a trip, just throw those snacks into a bigger Ziploc bag, throw it into your overnight bag or your purse or your glove box, and then when the kids start whining, just throw them a couple of snacks to keep them quiet so you can listen to your motivational podcast while you're driving and they're not talking. Hack number four. So, sometimes being a parent isn't all fun and games. And sometimes we have to tell our children things that might make them sad. The important thing to, when you're doing this is to remember to do it in a sensitive and like a kind and like respectful way and do it in the comfort of your own home with only those people who need to know, know. Always respect your child's privacy during these hard times. Sam, I need to talk to you. Yeah. Put your phone down. What? I've got some bad news. About what? You're going to be so upset. Mm. I don't know how to tell you. You're just going to be so upset. Alright. How do I say it? You know, you know your non-existent TikTok account? Yeah, what about it? It's been deleted. No, no. It, it's a prank. A game. No, it's, it's not. I'm telling the truth. Be, yes, the cameras are going to spring up from behind the couch as usual. And it's, someone's going to shout, it's no, just a prank, bro. No, it's yes. not a prank, I promise you. It's the truth. Look, see? I never had TikTok before and I still don't have it. It's real. Oh, it's the truth. No. My followers, the memories, it's all gone. Okay. Right, stop there, stop there. Okay. Are you sure that's enough? No, no, more tears. <laughs> okay, Nick. Okay. Serious, serious. All right. And go. Oh, I just don't know how to feel about it all. It's all gone. You can talk to me about this. Tell me, tell me how you feel. I'm just so devastated. I don't understand why they just bully a kid like this. Well, the thing is, they obviously don't know who I am. And they don't know that you are my son. And I'm sure we can get it back once they know. No, it's, it's gone. It's, it's all gone. Well, there's one other option. What? It's a Chinese app. Mm -hmm. So, if we can't get it back using my name, we can send you to China and adopt you back. Oh, thank God. All right, sorry. We're going to have to do that again. I haven't got oh. enough ring lights. It just looks all washed out. It's... Oh. Sorry. Sorry. Again? Yes, I know. This is the third time we've had to do this today. 
I cannot maintain this beauty for much longer. I need to wash it off. And you know how stressful it is being around you guys all day. <sighs> so inconsiderate. Hack number five. After a long, hard day of like being a mum and a wife, being a housewife, sometimes you just like, you just want to decompose in peace. You could pop off to the library by yourself, but if that means reading books, then here's another option. Little Sammy here has been loud all day and he needs to just have some quiet time. He needs to decompose and so do I. And this is how we do it. So, I hope all of these hacks will help you to, to become the mother and the housewife that I know you look up to me to be and make your home a happier place to be for you. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask them down below. And tell me, what's your favorite hack? What do you, what do, you do to like make your life easier? Thanks everybody for like watching and seeing my absolutely favorite hacks. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye! Mm-hmm. <laughs>